Hello everyone! Welcome back to another 2v2 Warhammer battle. This is going to be Norska and the Greenskins versus the Greenskins and Bretonia. So for my army here, pretty simple. I wanted a Throg army, so we have a little bit lighter on the Marauders here, kind of. Uh, we have two Marauder Berserkers, two normal Marauders, and then two Marauders with Javelins. Then we have the Norskin Ice Trolls, a Famir Bale Fiend with Fire. We also have, where are they? Over here we have a Famir Warriors with Great Weapons, the Maws of Savagery, and an Armored Skin Wolf. Also brought a Frost Dragon, or sorry, Frost Worm, not Dragon, Frost Worm. Uh, this is the one that has the Chilling Aura and also the Frostbite and some decent damage of fear and Terror. Uh, then, of course, being led by Throg himself, which I did bring his Spit move, which is, uh, it's something. Uh, then for my ally over here, they're being led by Warzag and a Goblin Big Boss. I think they had a caster? Maybe they didn't have a caster. No, I guess I'm crazy. Uh, the front line is a bunch of Orc Boys, and we have two Orc Biggins, two Black Orcs Giant, and then a Savage Orc Arrow Boy, two Trolls, versus the other Greenskin player, which has the Goblin Wolf Riders, Orc Poor Boy Biggins, and then also a Knight Goblin Squeak Hopper, being led by the Knight, or I'm sorry, by the Goblin Great Shaman. Um, then we have a line of Goblin Archers, we have two Orc Biggins, Black Orcs with the Crimson Killers, and then we have Savage Orcs back here, and then two Goblin Rock Lobbers, and then a Giant in the middle with their pals, the Trolls. And then for Bretonia, who is swinging way to the uh, our left, this is all uh, fully upgraded Spears and Battle Pilgrims being led by King Luan Leon Kerr on foot. Uh, we also have a Damsel of Heavens with Curse of the Midnight Wind. You never really see King Luan on foot. Uh, back here we have a Grail Relic and then two Grail Knights over here in position at the... I think that's like basically the edge of the map, yeah. Um, so I'm going to actually be pulling my forces out here, my anti-cab forces over here. I'm going to be pulling them out here soon. I'm going to be flying the Frostworm over their army just to give them the chilling effect and slow them down just to kind of well keep them away from the fight for as long as possible. Um, the enemy Greenskin player looked like they were going to charge my ally with their mobile forces, but I think it's just to try and goad them into crossing the uh, hill. I'm keeping my forces at the edge of the hill because I'm getting hit by those two Goblin Rock Lobbers, but at this um, angle, the Goblin Rock Lobbers, they can't hit you. Uh, they're just going to be wasting ammo, so I wanted to keep doing that until the enemy figured out that I'm just wasting their ammo. Uh, over here, again, the Frostworm is just going to be trying to delay the Bretonian army for as long as possible with this chill effect because there's nothing to threaten it over here. And eventually I'm going to have to turn my army and we're going to have to face Bretonia. I wanted to try and do a 2v1 with the Greenskins, um, but the thing is, we're just not really in position for that. I can slow these guys down a little bit, but if I do a hard engage, then I'm just going to get flanked and rear charged by the Bretonian forces. I'm like, ah, uh, like I really want to, but I can't. Uh, especially since the Grail Knights are not pulling up ahead, so I'm like, well... We gotta kind of do this here, so I'm gonna get my anti cat force with the Femir Warriors and the um, Skin Wolves and Throg over here. I'm gonna get the Frost Wolves starting to fly over here. You can see Curse of Midnight Wind being dropped. And I'm gonna try and slow down these Grill Knights because they want to destroy my Berserkers, obviously. Um, but I want to try and slow them down with the Frostbite of the uh, Great Worm, or Frost Worm. My ally is gonna be engaging against the Greenskin player here as well. Now, we do catch them in the chill effect, and I am gonna land down here, which is gonna slow their speed down insanely uh, to 10. When they get hit with the Frostbite and the Chill Effect, their speed is 10. So I'm trying to do as much damage to them as we can on the way out, but I do not want to get caught by um, the Spears, although I think I do. No, maybe I don't. So here I am, just repositioning my army to try and um, charge into the Bretonians. My Norse Ice Trolls don't have really much to do here besides killing Grail Knights, so I'm actually going to pull them over here, out here and try to hit these Goblin Archers because my ally can't really hit them as well because he doesn't really have any mobile force. And you can see they are just engaged in a massive melee brawl. Uh, their Savage Rock Air Boys are going to get hit by the mobile forces back there. Uh, meanwhile, over here, you can see that we have a standing ground from King Lou and Leon Kerr, and my uh, Berserker is taking a heavy beating. Going to charge in here to try and finish off these two Grail Knights as well. You see we have the Flaming Sword of Ruin just to increase our damage. But it does also make it magical so the Grail Knights actually do uh, resist some of that. Wait, don't they? Or, no, 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 they have a physical resist. Sorry, they have physical resist. Not, not magical. Uh, but you can see that with this damage from our anti-cav squad, uh, the Grail Knights are actually going to start to rout. But one of them does. The other one is actually on my force, or Frost Worm. My melee forces, my infantry that is, not looking too great against these fully upgraded units and being supported by the Curse of Midnight Wind, I believe is what's getting, yeah. Curse of Midnight Wind went down, so this is a hard fight for us. But at least we did manage to route one of the uh, Grail Knights, my ally. It's kind of even-ish right now. Uh, the Savage Rook Air Boys did kind of get taken out by their mobile forces, but the melee is going mm, okay. 
Meanwhile, my trolls are just out here routing Goblin to Hearts. I'm just trying to route all three of them, but you can see the enemy has found out what I'm doing. Uh, my trolls will route here eventually, but they do a lot of damage to the Goblin and Archers. Now, right now, I'm just trying to pull out my forces because my infantry has taken a beating right there. So we're just trying to regroup. My Frostworm did temporarily route, but it will come back. And right now, we're trying to isolate the Damsel of the Heavens because she's out of position. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Throg just doesn't really seem like attacking. Probably because she's getting knocked over by the wolves. There you can see my trolls are going to be routing, but they will come back. Uh, but the front line, again, is kind of in my allies' favor at this point. They've routed off a lot of the enemy's forces who are not really supported by the Goblin Archers anymore. But uh, their back line, though, was terrorized by the Orb of Wiggins, the Wolf Riders, and the Dr. Squids. But you can see that they are now routing away from Warzag. This is another Crystal Midnight win. Yeah, another Crystal Midnight win being dropped. I'm dropping some flames. Spells from our Famir Belfian, who has just been over here supporting the Marauders. We're going to be throwing these Berserkers into here to support the Belfian. Everything else is going to actually be pulling out as we're trying to finish off the Grail Knights. Trolls are now free to come back and start uh, hitting, but you see the Goblin Arch is going to uh, start hitting them there as well. Crimson Killer is routed over here. Now it's going to be a giant. Actually, no, it's not giant. Or giant. Sorry, their giant is actually been uh, getting killed by the Savage Orcs, while the enemy giant has been killing Black Orcs, I believe. But again, right here we are going to just try and do a mass uh, pull out because there's really no reason to fight them right here. I'm going to keep my Frostworm nearby this massive infantry formation to try and just slow them down. But my goal now is to pull out the rest of my forces, and then we're going to try and assist my um, ally here because I can see that they still have a fully held giant. Um, you said it. And they have a... I thought they had a... Another Black Orc. I guess I'm crazy. But I see the fully healed giant. Or I guess now down to 50%. But we're going to try and focus on that giant. So I'm going to send Throg and everything else over there. And again, my Frost Room is just going to keep pace with King Lewin and his infantry formation. Did more fire spells over here. That the enemy actually did dodge. And the Berserkers are going to just do their best. Uh, they, I think they are fully raged at this point. And them and the Famir um, Balefiend are just going to try and destroy all these Bretonian infantry. I believe in them. Because Berserkers are nuts. Uh, by the time that my forces actually get here, the enemy giant has actually been singled out already. Uh, but we're going to just kind of do a finishing blow. And you see Goblin Wolf Riders coming in here. Uh, the Gob Rock Lobbers are still up and operational. I will be sending one of my wolves, I think the Moss Savage or one of them, to try and shut them down. But you can see the enemy green skin player is coming in for a second wave. Again, I'm just slowing down this infantry, moving at uh, 20 speed right now. Very, very slow. Uh, delaying them from assisting their green skin ally. Throg up in here, killing some Orc Boy Vigans. And the Berserkers and the Femio Bellafiend are actually going to win this fight. Against, I think there was like four different uh, units over here, including fully upgraded battle pilgrims. My Femir will route temporarily, but they will come back. And now we are trying to destroy the rest of the Greenskin army here. And again, just while slowing down um, the Bretonians. Got a lot of good javelins into this bunch. You can see some chattering going down. And this is when I'm going to start targeting their Gobble Archers and the, and the Gob Rock Lobbers. As my allies didn't go to turn around. I, I thought we were all going to charge the rest of the Greenskins. But um, my ally actually charges back towards the Bretonian player. The thing is, like, I was slowing them down. We could have kited them and finished these guys off first, but now our forces are a little bit split. And you can see that Warzag is going to just get in the middle of this and just immediately route. I'm going to try and do my best to save him, but now it is too late. So now my dragon is just kind of in there by themselves. I guess supported by trolls and some orc boys. But you see the Curse of the Midnight Wind, or sorry, Sword of the Crone, sorry, Sword of the Crone is down, which is not going to help us at all. But we are riding the Gob Archers back here. We will route the, the Gob Rock Lobber. Here come my premier Great Warriors, or Great Weapon Warriors, who were, like, routed way back here. And then they come back just in time to get shattered. Like, immediately shattered. Uh, this, I uh, don't think it comes back after this route. Uh, but we do have the two Javelins just kind of throwing into this massive amount of Bretonians. Finishing off the Gob Lobber. Maul Savage coming back in. Throg is just kind of in the middle of this. He is basically at full health, which he has a lot of hit points. So I know he could take a little bit. Honestly, it's his leadership that I'm worried about more than his health. But we're just going to let him do his thing as we continue throwing our javelins into this massive amount of Bretonians. Maul Savage going to take a temporary detour to try and finish off these nice quick um, hoppers. As our remaining Berserkers and Famir Belfian are going to try and get over here to assist uh, Throg. Who is actually now back down to about half health. We've done a lot of good damage to the Damsel of Heavens. We've done some damage to King Lewin and all the remaining infantry. 
Now focusing on the Goblin Great Shaman who is trying to cause us some issues here running into our Javelin Throwers. We got some Troll Reinforcers coming in. I think the Orc Boys are going to go back in and the Black Horse is going to go on the Goblin Great Shaman. Getting the Femir over here. Throg will come back from routing here soon. We routed off those Squig Hoppers so now we're going to try and route off... I think we throw into the Savage Orcs temporarily? I can't remember what I do with these guys now. But I think I route off a couple of these units that are coming into the fight uh, by charging into them here. Yeah, so we're going to rush into the backs of the Savage Orcs, and we are going to try and route them here. We are trying to save their Goblin Great Shaman. Meanwhile, these trolls and my Berserkers are in here. How many Berserkers? I have... How many Berserkers are in there? Eleven. Eleven Berserkers left, but they are not breaking, because they are just raged up. And there we go, with the help of the Orc Boys, we have routed those Savage Orcs. Now we're going to go into what remains of the Grail Relic, King Lewin, and the Battle Pilgrims. It's a pretty close game. Thrall coming back though, and he's angry. Javelin's still pretty much okay with some ammo left. I'm going to have them throw some Javelins into this clump of uh, Greenskins. Not really necessary though, because they're going to get hit by Fear and Terror and a Giant, so... In fact, I probably just killed that Giant. <laughs> Listen, it's all good. It's all good. He, I'm sure he deserved it. He was an evil Giant. They couldn't help themselves. They're hunters of large creatures. They saw a giant. They threw their javelins. What do you want? And then that's when the rest of the enemy army is going to shatter. Again, that was a pretty close game. Um, Throg, I think, is really not a great multiplayer pick. I wanted to do at least one battle with him, but I don't think he's a great uh, lord for... What's his faction? Norska? I think... Wolfric is just better, even just on horse, I think Wolfric is a better option. And of course, you know, you can put him on a mammoth if you really want to. But I wanted to uh, show Throg some love. He did get 66 kills, which is pretty good. My Berserkers here got 239, which is really good. The rest of our Marauders didn't fare as well. Uh, the Javelins did some good damage to important units. The Ice Trolls were off there killing uh, Goblins, killed about 100 of them, I guess. And then my anti large crew did some good damage to the Grail. Uh, knights. The Femir Warriors took the brunt of a lot of their initial charge, so they kind of got pummeled. And then the Dragon, uh, 29 kills, a lot of damage to the Grail, Knights, and then maybe some Bretonian infantry, but uh, still kind of, I'm not going to say crucial, but they did delay the Bretonians a lot, like a lot, which is kind of cool to see. So that was neat. Um, then for my ally here, you can see their Biggins did pretty good, the Black Orcs fared okay, the Trolls did actually pretty good, considering all the archers that were there. And uh, the Giant got 69 kills, Warzag with 23, which is not bad. For the Bretonians, their buffed up um, infantry line actually did work. They did kill my Marauder line. Got 100 kills here, 67 there. Like Their battle programs did really well. The Grail Knights we kind of targeted pretty quickly, but they did do, a lot, again, a lot of damage to my uh, Dragon and my Familiar Great Warriors and then Berserkers as well. And then the enemy great, Green Skip player, the Goblin Great Shaman. Like, you just, like, what? You never see that unit brought for pretty good reasons, uh, but it's cool to see them, I guess. Their army, their Knights Quake Hoppers actually did really well. The Gob Ar Archers did destroy my Ice Trolls after some time. Uh, Savage Orcs did pretty well. Crimson Killers did pretty good, okay. And then I actually think there was some friendly fire with the Goblin Rock Lobber there towards the end before I um, routed it. I think it was firing into that massive amount of Bretonian infantry that was trying to kill... I don't know who they were trying to kill at the time, but at the very end there, I think there was some friendly fire, which I'm cool with. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the 2v2, everybody. Let's watch a cinematic video. Hard to escape from this frost worm. But they did have spears right there too.
work on orc violence. And these berserkers, man, they are just going to go to town. Enemy trolls. Oh man! That one just got nailed by an entire rock from the from the arty. What the hell? Just right in the face. Get him, Throg. Oh, 
This is a hard fight for Lua now without the infantry. Getting knocked down is uh, not a fun time. And there we go. So, hope you enjoyed the battle, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.